Greetings, greetings, and welcome to Her Majesty Blog, where we bring together the world of pageants with the sole aim of revolutionizing the standards of beauty and creating a social development through women empowerment. My name is Demo, and I will be your host with the most for tonight. On this particular series called It Is Within Her, which also happens to be our slogan, we go on a journey from pageant queens to pageant look directors and everybody else that is involved in the pageant industry to really just find out what it takes to be pioneering women in the industry. If it's your first time watching us, welcome. Do enjoy yourself. Stay seated. And we do apologize for starting extremely late. We have been experiencing some technical difficulties, but we're here and we are making this interview work against all odds. Rebonne, please send me a request to join the live. Also, do follow us across all our social media platforms. We are available on Instagram. We are there by Twitter. We are there by Wena YouTube. Look, we are absolutely everywhere. Do follow us on our social media platforms to get up to date with what to know about the industry. I'm going to accept her quickly into the live. And we're going to get our conversation started. It's just as an to join oh my gosh let's try again let's try again yay yay yeah. <laughs> finally hi finally hi how are you doing i'm great thanks to yourself i'm well thank you my dear no, like now network yeah do mail. Like now everything look the combos are communicating. Like it's clear. Yeah. Now we're able to hear each other on. <laughs> <laughs> oh great stuff, great stuff, great stuff. Let us not waste any time. Let us just get to know you and you know what? I'm gonna start things off with a bit of an icebreaker, right? I'm gonna ask okay. you um three questions and the questions are gonna do with like word association right okay. i'm gonna give you three words three phrases three terms and you're gonna tell me what do you associate them with right okay. i could be saying sky and you could say blue and i could be saying road and you can say traffic so something along those okay. lines right all right get it okay i do get it let's get straight into it then zozi bini tunzi miss universe 2019 High heels. Um, pageantry. Oh. Pageant week. Oh, stressful. Stressful. <laughs> <laughs> I love your honesty. I love your honesty because it can yeah. be a lot. It can really, really be a lot. Honesty, but yeah. you know, moving on to getting to know you. For those who don't know you, who is Rebaone PT? Where does she come from? What does she do for a living? And all that great stuff. Okay, so Rebaone PT is a 24-year-old from um, Randfontein, um, Johannesburg. I am Christian first and foremost, so I'm a firm believer in Jesus Christ. I am the face of devotion in Zanti 2022-23 ambassador now currently known as Face of Devotion South Africa. I am bubbly, I am spontaneous, I am loving, I'm caring, I'm very compassionate. Um, I am a double major degree um, graduate in psychology and sociology from the Northwest University Bell Triangle campus. I wow, am... no, right. <laughs> I went to the ball as well. I went to Northwest University Ball Triangle Campus. Small world. Wow. Okay. Yes. Well, um, wow. Okay. Yes, I am an aspiring clinical psychologist, soon to be a doctor in psychology. Um, and yeah, I'm on a billboard, by the way, in Dubai, Soweto. I am a pageant judge. I am a mentor and yes, a sister to all of the Face of Devotion title holders and candidates. Yes, that's me in a nutshell. That's you. You like. <laughs> 
expressing yourself greatly as you are. Oh my goodness. Wow. How does it feel announcing yourself and introducing yourself? Like how does it like do you not feel like you are living within your life's purpose? Like you you say it so confidently, you say it with so much pride. I, oh my gosh. Um it feels amazing actually because I feel that um every single thing that I've mentioned is something that I've worked hard towards so it's you know it's just an amazing feeling yeah <laughs> ah Kosi Khad underscore eight is saying my role model girl me and you both I'm listening Thank to you. her like I'm so to the goals so I'm nice. listening to her like <laughs> listen she is such an amazing young woman that's doing well for herself at her age oh wow what would you, you what would you say is your life's purpose um my life's purpose i feel is that um i am brought here to be a healer um first and foremost and to just spread love you know just spread happiness spread peace and just um embrace other people and yeah to simply just love yeah just to love Oh wow. Creative Jitta saying that you should be proud of your hard work and I couldn't oh. agree more and we see all the love that everybody is showing you and ah we really really appreciate it. Thank and you. now I want to ask you right if you were to have like a super secret superpower what would it be and why? Um I feel like it would be super intelligence. um what studying psychology um i've always wanted to learn about how the human mind works and being a student in psychology i've gotten to know more about that so just getting to see um the dynamics of how psychology works and just knowing you know um how the human mind works. which has made me wonder if there is more to this life than what we actually see so yeah super intelligence definitely Wow. I feel like doing that pom sound because I'm seeing official devotion and Zanzi just joined the chat and they say oh, we yeah. are proud of you. I mean naturally we want to be proud of having such an amazing ambassador. Wow. And then your journey with pageantry where and when did it begin? Okay so my journey with pageantry started in the year 2021 um when I joined the face of devotion and zanzi pageant and with joining I really didn't know what to expect I didn't have a clue about what pageantry was about I was already into modeling yes because I started modeling in 2020 um after being okay. discovered by um the founder of the modeling agency that I am a part of right now um called TDC Models um his name is Tepo Lubisi so he found me um during my birthday shoot with him as a photographer and he later then asked me in the year 2021 to be one of the representatives for TDC Models to just join um Face of Devotion in Zanzi 2021 Um and then we had our first rehearsals um I think around January um that year um at GOG Gardens um where all of the candidates were just there I think there was like 130 something of us if I'm not mistaken and you know I didn't know what to expect you know not having any experience in pageantry I just huh, I was terrified but um as soon as the title holders and um, previous title holders walked in with their sashes and their crowns the ladies beautiful with the evening gowns the jeans with their suit i was like damn i want to be a part of that so um and then um, i made a little prayer in my heart and said god um one day i want to be a part of that team i want to wear that sash i want to wear that crown and then yeah. moving forward um we had our journey to the gauteng semi finale and then i was then chosen as one of the lead characters um for during rehearsals as we were rehearsing to have the show um and then moving on um to our semi final show i was crowned the finalist of hugging um in that same year mm-hmm. and then moving further along the journey um we had our journey to the face of devotion hugging finale which i was then crowned the hauteng ambassador provincially 
<laughs> and then um, after the provincials, um, we had the Face of Devotion in Zanzi finale um, in December the 11th. And then I was later crowned that same night, um, the Face of Devotion in Zanzi 2021 and 2022 National Ambassador. The first ever to win out of nine provinces. So, yeah. <laughs> yes. Girl, I'm just listening to you like, I want to copy and paste your prayer because, wow, <laughs> you are such a big deal and you have been doing it all so effortlessly and, wow, I mean, your first pageant, I mean, people tell you that they make it with their second or third pageant and with you, what? your very first pageant and you made it that far. That is absolutely amazing. All right. <laughs> And congratulations, I mean, above all, once again, you know, on being the face of devotion and Zanzi ambassador, you know, for those who don't know and those who have never heard of the pageant, what would you say is the purpose of the pageant? Okay, so basically, Face of Devotion in Zanzi, currently known as Face of Devotion South Africa, is not a beauty pageant. It is rather a brand slash journey pageant, which takes place across, uh, which takes place across the, uh, a journey of a year. Um, it is not about yeah. It is not about your beauty. It does not focus on beauty, but rather focuses on the characteristics of an individual their commitment, their leadership skills, their dedication and commitment towards the brand as a whole. Um, we then have um, our provincial shows that take place in each and every province. And then all of the winners from the provincial shows compete for the national titles in the finale, the Face of Devotion mm -hmm. South Africa finale. So um, having the title, so that I have, it means that I won out of all the nine provinces in South Africa. So yes, Face wow. of Devotion does not focus on beauty as the main standard, but rather focuses on an individual's characteristics and how um, they inspire others and then being a role model, like entirely. So yes, that is, that is what it's about. And um, the vision that the founder had, Mr. Oscar Mabuza, for the pageant is that he also incorporated tourism into this pageant as well, where we have um, trips and sponsors all over the country, where we have activities that be done, we have guest houses. So yeah, it's really an amazing pageant, yeah, honestly. It's not Sounds amazing. Oh, wow. And I love that it is so multifaceted, you know. It's not one of those pages that focuses on one area. It's really quite exactly. multifaceted. And wow, hearing that you get to, you made it throughout the entire country as well. I can't get over it. Sorry, I'm going to keep on repeating it that you are like <laughs> the national ambassador because like you are the queen. And honestly, wow. I can't stop. I can't stop. So, you know what? Um, your, your, your director, um, um, Mr. Oscar, gave me, you know, as a bit of a profile of the stuff that you guys get to do and stuff, you know. And I saw that you guys take part in, like, multiple tasks, right? What yes. would you say was your favorite of all tasks? And can you just take us through those tasks that you guys get to do before getting to the finale? Okay. Okay, so I think my favorite tasks out of all the tasks was the rehearsals, actually. Because um, um, during our rehearsals, we get to, you know, um, be innovative. Um, we get to be creative with our teams. We get to practice and just perfect our craft before reaching the show that we're supposed to reach, whether provincial, whether um, national show. So um, we get to bond and we create a bond that um, really just, grows from us being friends to us becoming a family. And uh, the kind of task that we have, um, we have, for example, they are, there's a system where we have votings and it can be either by pageant vote where um, our people can vote for us via a link that is sent. Um, and then uh -huh. there are votes where we get to um, have SMSs, you know, um, so it's really just, um, it's a lot. It's stressful, challenging, but fun at the same time. And then we also have um, votes where we have to like vote um, with people voting for us, like using money, you know, like yeah, a monetary system that we use as well. So yeah, but I, I, um, I guess go on. So yeah, it's, it's really fun. It's really, really fun. 
okay. And I saw one of um, the ladies saying that they are finalists for 2023. So have entries opened yet for those that are wondering and that are just curious about this pageant? Oh, oh yes. Entries have opened. Um, we are currently um, still busy with that at the moment um, as we are covering all of the nine provinces of South Africa. Um, Team Gauteng has already started with their rehearsals. Um, Team Western Cape as well had their first meeting and are soon to start their rehearsals. And then we are looking forward to just opening all of the branches of our beautiful country. <laughs> that is amazing. Amazing. That is absolutely amazing. And what are your duties currently as the Face of Devotion Ambassador? Okay, so currently I am actually in my second year of reigning as the Face of Devotion Ambassador. Mm -hmm. As no ambassador was crowned last year, so I have to just overtake that um, title and just run with the baton. So my duties as the ambassador, it is just to represent the brand well, um, to oversee all of the projects, activities, and tasks that are done within um, all the provinces. And I get help from my overall winners, from my previous title holders and current title holders, as well as the candidates. As long as we are committed and working as a team, nothing is impossible. All right. Wow. So powerful. And I think I saw a question. Wait, wait, wait. I think I want to scroll down to it. Um, okay. Who's this? I think um, Creative Jupiter asked, what okay. change would you want to bring? want to bring into the world? Um, so the change that I'd want to bring into the world is just to spread a message of um, mental health, um, just to mm. um, tell people to prioritize their mental health because um, we are dealing um, with a lot of situations, a lot of challenges that at times they tend to overwhelm us and we, we struggle, you know, with our mental health a lot because we don't know um, in many a times how to handle the emotions that come with the pressure or the challenges. So um, I feel like the change that I would bring to the world is just to spread love, to spread, um, um, you know, happiness and peace and just remind people that, you know, it's okay to be going through difficult times and it's okay to embrace the fact that you were struggling so that you can get the necessary support and the care that you are supposed to be receiving, you know, so yeah. That is the change that and the impact that I want to bring into the world. Powerful, powerful and well said, you know. Alongside many other issues in our country amongst young people is substance abuse, right? Yeah. And it's slowly becoming a, a pandemic in our country, right? And, you know, when I was just reading through the, the profile of the organization, I was quite impressed in seeing that, you know what, these are some of the issues that you guys get to tackle, you know. And I just wanted to ask you, what is, you know, what would you say is the cause really for substance abuse being such a pandemic and what, how would you say we can combat that, especially as young people? Okay, so um, being a student of psychology, I'm going to put it in psycholo from a, I'm going to say it from a psychological perspective. Um, I think it is um, a matter of us not being able to um, understand or you know, evaluate the kind of um, challenges that we go through, um, especially when we are under pressure. You know, we act out of, you know, emotion and not really just sit with ourselves and ask myself, um, why am I going through this? Why is this happening to me? You know, um, we don't want to be honest with ourselves. So um, I think self-evaluation in this point, um, at this point, is very important and self-awareness because um, we tend to just... Um, do whatever feels right at the moment. Say um, I have a parent that died, you know, um, my first instinct is how am I going to survive? How am I going to do this life thing without my parent? And then it becomes difficult to deal with because now I cannot process my emotions. And then it later leads me to becoming maybe depressed, for instance. And then with the depression, I just want anything at the moment that numbs me. So um, at that time, it might be alcohol, it might be drugs, you know, that thing that just makes you feel better, you know, at that time. But what we don't realize is that it has very negative effects over a long period of time. So it was really um, 
it is really a difficult thing to deal with but um i think self awareness at this point is the main um thing that we should be focusing on you know um when we are dealing with challenges or facing difficulties let's just sit with ourselves you know let's just sit with ourselves yeah. evaluate the problem you know and get to the root of the problem so that we can um know how to deal with it know how to process our emotions and know how to overcome the issue so um we should also not be afraid to let others know you know the people close to us um you know um we have support structures whether it be family whether it be friends um and if you don't have uh, people within close proximity um that can help you with that you know we've got um counseling centers we've got trauma centers you know um services that are free to us in our country that help um with dealing with such problems so yeah that is my standpoint on that all right and then there was a question and i think i just forgot her name i think it was poppy she was asking what keeps you motivated um what keeps me motivated is actually the title that i have um just to name one thing um because i realized that um it is not just about me as an individual but i'm a representative of a brand and i have to carry myself well um and always try to maintain that standard so that um i represent the brand and you know i i don't act out of character and then the most important thing that keeps me motivated is my spiritual life um mm-hmm. i am a firm believer in Christ and Christian as i've mentioned previously so i always try to tackle the challenges that i face um by praying by meditating by reading the word and that keeps me sane that keeps me sane so yeah All right. I was trying to type an answer here but I think I'm going to say it okay. instead. I was going to respond to official devotion in Zanzi. They ask how would you rate us out of 10? I would give you guys a proper 100. <laughs> um, can you just hear your message? Can you just Can you just as I said I I don't I can't even rate out of 10. I'm giving you a 100 because You are so in sync with yourself and so connected with yourself and with your purpose and why you are doing this and why you have this title. So I'll give you a proper 100 to answer their question. <laughs> But like coming back to you, you know, outside of pageantry, outside of, you know, everything else you get to do, when I speak to Rebaune PT and I ask you, how would you like to be remembered one day? What would you want to be? I want to be remembered as someone that um helped people as someone that healed people as someone that was compassionate towards other people as someone that helped people um become better individuals um because yes. outside of pageantry um you know it doesn't mean that you can't become a role model without a sexual or crime you know i just want to inspire others through the story that i have and just to follow through with the purpose that i have and let that be a blueprint for others that are still watching this journey so that they can see that um you know if rabani can do it i can do it as well so self belief is very important Woo! guys i'm in the midst of kingdom like i'm getting just bumps i'm getting yay 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 because with every single answer i'm just like they couldn't have chosen a better ambassador because wow you are absolutely absolutely amazing and i'm about to ask you a signature question and i can't you know i wish there's a question i had that could trick you into into you just was it king not flopping but you just thinking quickly on your toes but you are so phenomenal that i'm pretty sure there's no question that i can ask you right now that will just leave you confused or is it king on your toes so i'm just going to go straight to our signature question here on her majesty and the question is what does beauty mean to you so beauty to me does not um go according to physical appearance or how i look yes. physically but for me it is rather what comes from the heart you know um because i believe um that everything that we do think feel and you know process comes from the heart so those are your true emotions you know so yeah 
Yeah, yeah. beauty for me is your heart. Yes. Ah. Um, Poppy just said, I'm really enjoying this. Poppy, you know what? I agree with you so much, Nate, that right now, <laughs> I I'm, I'm just wondering you know if it wasn't for time I could be keeping here her here the entire evening and just asking her more and more question because wow it has been Thank such you. an honor to have you here on our platform you. you are a phenomenal queen you are the definition of you know what the ambassador of face of devotion because you are so grounded you are so sure about yourself what you want in life and we really wish you all the best with your reign going forward Thank you so so much for having me. <laughs> ah, I'm really looking forward to seeing you entering other pageants as well. Like now we're going to be following you and rooting for you. So look, girl, this is only the beginning. This is just the first of many amazing pageants that you are about to enter. So look, do the most in the industry and we'll be on the lookout for you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Ah, thank you so much for the pleasure of your time. Do have yourself an amazing evening and God bless. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Growing all the love. Thank you so much, my dear. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and there you have it. There you have it. Like what a power house. What a queen. What a phenomenal young woman. Oh my gosh. Her name is Raboni Pitti and she is the face of Azat. No, sorry about that. She is the face of devotion and Zanti ambassador 2021 2022. Ah, oh, she's absolutely a queen. I can't agree more with you. Leora babe. Thank you so much guys for watching. I have a couple of announcements for you guys though. So this year you get a chance to vote for your favorite episode, right? So at the end of the month we're going to put up a poll, right? We haven't put one for January yet, but we're going to put it up. Then we're going to also put one up for February. So you get to vote for the third annual Her Majesty Awards. You get to vote for your favorite episode. So we will reveal who is the best episode each and every month. And therefore, come the end of the year, we will take all those best episode that you guys have voted for and choose the most liked episode for the year simple as that right so if you love this episode make sure that at the end of the month you stay tuned and you vote for her on the poll goes up you will announce it on our story so be on the lookout for that and do vote for her and then another one is that if you know anybody who is in the pageant industry and basically they are a retailer or there are somebody that are just interested in doing business in the pageant space please do let them know that we are here and we would like to connect with them they can send us an email at hermajestyorganization@gmail.com or alternatively drop us a whatsapp on our number 0731777477 i'll repeat the number again correctly this time it's 0731177 Seven four double seven. My apologies. I was just saying for the very last time that it's clear, 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 clear. It's zero seven three double one seven seven four seven seven. I'll note off by heart soon. But thank you, thank you so so much for joining tonight live, and thank you for your patience with us, guys. Especially in the midst of the technical difficulties we were experiencing. Do have yourself a pleasant evening, further, and do remember to follow us across all our social media platforms. Have a pleasant evening from me, with Emma Khalo and the team. It is good night, and God bless. <laughs>